Have you ever had somebody try to tell you about something they've experienced and then they were like, you know, you really had to be there. I can't really do it justice. Sometimes our ma imaginations just cannot do the job, can they? Well, let's talk about that in your morning cup of inspiration. Have you ever been to the Grand Canyon? If you've not been to the Grand Canyon and someone tries to tell you about it, it will not be done justice. Until you see the Grand Canyon, your mind cannot imagine what you're going to see. Maybe you've seen other places in the world. Uh, last month when Karen and I were out in California, one night we went out, looked up into the sky, and were just in awe of the beauty of the stars, the big stars, little stars spanning the entire sky. Something we don't see very much in Florida and we were just in awe. Our minds could not imagine it. And you know, that's the way it is with God. God has so much in store for you and for me that we cannot imagine it. Listen to what the scripture says in 1 Corinthians 2.9. It says, however, as it's written, what no eye has seen, what no ear has heard, and what no human mind has conceived are the things that God has prepared for those who love him. He has prepared something for us that is so incredible, we can't conceive it. It's heaven. Heaven is going to be something that we cannot imagine until we get there to see it. Here's another scripture that I'll leave you with in Isaiah 55, it's verse eight and verse nine. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Our minds are on a different level than God's. We will not be able to imagine what heaven's like till we get there. But even now in this earth, God has things planned for your life that are higher than you can even think until you see it happen. So if you're going through a struggle today, if you're going through a time where you just wonder what God wants to do for you, wants to do through you, wants to do in your life, and you're not able to imagine it, I would ask you to reflect on these scriptures and realize that God wants to do amazing and incredible things that you can't imagine in your life today. So open your thought to that, see what he wants to do, and uh, let's do it together. God bless, thanks for joining me for that morning cup of inspiration, and we'll see you next time.